man. <laughs> man, he's covered in ice this morning, January 6th. Trying to say the date so that everybody knows what day it is actually. It's starting to unthaw. Anyway, it's pretty sad with it. I mean, it's not everywhere, I guess. It's just ice, but it happened here. We got a lot of ice, so it's getting unthawed. Real nice goats. These are all bucks. Alpine, Nubian. Uh, he's a purebred boar goat. Nigerian. Another Alpine, and he is uh, Savannah and half boar. This guy there, the white one. Beautiful. I was saying, I, I have water in here, and uh, it's important that you take these out and clean them every day so that, you know, they have pure water, good water. And every so often, I, I wash them also. But I dump out the old water every day and put new in, and at night I fill them again, but I don't dump them. But they all have fresh buckets to drink out of, you know. And you should do that, because the water gets stale or they poop in it, and it's better to have the water tubs outside their pens, but it's not always possible. But you just dump them. This one is outside, because they can stick their head through there. But still dump it, clean them, Fresh water every day. So I I filmed that the other day, but this is what it looks like from inside going looking out. Big hole in the roof there. It's we're gonna use all, all most of all that right there. And um, we've taken a lot of that out. We'll probably use up there too. They're really good boards actually. And uh, there's two big doors here. Let's see what we can do with them. A lot of wood here still. Some of these beams, when the roof collapses, some of these beams are just gonna break. We know it, but we'll cut them until you... And we're not gonna have a professional come in and start taking it down. It's just gonna be myself and Rob, and that roof is gonna collapse on the barns one day. It's already caving in up there you can see the bowl there it's already done it's such beautiful beams but it is what it is we're going to use a lot of it there's some hay left here that's what i'm doing getting it out of here the old 750 uh still a good girl um, it's much like the newer tractors of today, you know, the radiators, radiators up front, battery, um, everything is just up front. Oh, that's low. Well, I got to go up there and get some fuel, so I'll fill that up. As we're here, we might as well check the radiator and see what's in it. That's full. Well, it's been a good little tractor for me. I did a service on it earlier. This, this 
oh, I don't know, probably halfway through um, summer, but it's going to need another one. I mean, it doesn't run that many hours on it, but air cleaner, you know, I need to clean that. Oil's good, so I'm close the hood up and got my glove caught right there. And Cole start this thing. It does a good job of starting. It has glow plugs in it too, so <coughs> basically uh You have to make sure because that's how you shut the tractor off too. So. Put that there. Make sure she's out of gear. Turn the key and then turn it a little bit more. And the glow plugs turn on. And she should start. I do like this little tractor. I use it for many things. I rake hay with it. Not all the time, but some. And of course, I gotta finish that pen, so I carry my manure spreader around with it a lot. All right, let's see if she cranks. <laughs> Well, all goats, chickens, and cows are fed. What else we got here? Horses. Forgot. Can't leave out the horses. Anyway, I was just watching this video. I just happened upon it. I mean, I, I pulled up YouTube, check on things. And there's this, it says redneck. more guy or something I can't remember sled signs one sled signs one is what his name is go look it up it's so funny he's got a simplicity lawnmower tractor pulling all I don't know it could be a I think there's it could be 14 140 246 inches across he's he's got them all all these lawnmowers hooked up you know push lawnmowers all the handlebars are taken off and they're just engines with the lawn deck. And it worked. <laughs> they're, I mean, I don't know. That's a lot of motors running, but it was pretty cool. And it actually worked really well. He just, you know, if you're gonna do that, might as well get some real mowers, you know, and do that. All you gotta do is pull them around and they cut the grass too. <laughs> but it still was pretty cool. I'm like, wow, check this out. You had to start them all. And they all started right up, you know, they looked brand new, so. But if that's how he wants to do it, more power to him. Every invention is a pretty good one. This is the place where I started farming. I didn't have anything when I nice barn. I just dropped off some bales for her to bolts. But back there in that field behind us is where I do 10 acres back there. The rest of it belongs to another farm but they own 10 acres behind this and I do that for them still. Nobody here. But uh, yeah this is where I started learning about goats and started doing things I still come over here once in a while like I said do the hay but not often to do any work here anymore it's on the farm itself uh, that farmer I was telling you about back there uh, when I was a kid this is where I grew up this, this, this is skinny at this lake down there see those silos 
when I was little they weren't there. They, that farm that you can see now. I grew up right here. And this house, this old rundown house right here where I lived. Spent a lot of time around here walking around and driving tractors. Anymore, that guy uh, owns it, I won't mention his name. Um, he rents all the land out. Still owns it all. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the Dewey. Tell him do we do Okay. There's my popper dog. This one here. He's Edgar. Call him the Giz. Giz. Hey Giz. Look at the camera. Yeah. Well, he wants to go outside, so. And then there's one more somewhere around here. Oh, I've got a sock, an old sock. Because I'll take it outside. <laughs> okay, you can go. Well, we, I started cleaning out the, this, this pen. Um, it's a nice looking rooster, ain't it? But I just started it. Uh, I'm gonna do a load again tomorrow. I loaded it right up. I will go. Now it'll be time for chores. Funny thing happened, I was taking some we have a burn pile and I have all the string. I was taking it down with a manure spreader. I wasn't paying attention. Garbage can fell over. String got wrapped up in the tire here. It just was all I had to, I spent a half an hour uh, unwinding it all. That's what you get. Cold out today. Well, I'm home now. It's uh, after seven. We did everything down at the barn and I uh, just wanted to say good night subscribe to the channel and um, thanks for watching yeah. say good night to the donkeys yeah say good night